It is 6.45 a.m. Monday morning, and the Swim Tulsa Club has gathered for more tough training in the Olympic-sized pool. Now we go 12 to 15,000 meters in a day, so that's 8 to 10 miles of swimming. So it's a, it's a, it's a good long day. Uh, 31. Coach Dave Lynn has been instructing Tulsa swimmers for a long, long time. And one of his best students is eight-time state champion Eastman Holloway. If you're strong enough to do a mile, you're strong enough to do anything else. Those credentials sound good enough to me. And as hard as Eastman and his colleagues work every day, they appreciate what the Michael Phelps and the Ryan Lochtes will do in London. Is it just mind-boggling? Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's a big mixture of talent and hard work. So, yeah. Realizing it's not just jumping in to cool off, Eastman gives me a few pointers. That's a good stroke. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually really good. I would just say you need to kick more. And not that I was trained to sprint 50 meters. I just wanted to get an idea as to just how hard it really is to win gold. Record. Go, Cam. Speak your mark. Yep. My first mistake was getting caught between a simple jump and a dive, and it went downhill from there. Tried some editing techniques, slowing down my opponents. Speeding up my side. Not even swimmers running interference was going to help. And what seemed like an hour and a half, my coach waiting for me hardly breathing, oh. I was breathing hard. Oh, and then when you watch the Olympics, wow, something else, USA. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm out of breath, JT. Hey.